Today, we're watching an episode of The Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, with a little help from you and a friend. Stay tuned for a game at the end of this episode. Are you ready to play? Yeah! Avengers, assemble! Display Chrono Archive 001944. Keyword Rogers. Loading. News from the front. As the Hydra War Machine expands its reach, one by one the nations of Europe fall under its shadow. None so far have withstood the onslaught. But allied soldiers from across the globe stand together, and as the world goes to war, we recount the tale of Steve Rogers, the man who would become Captain America. Although young Rogers was too frail for combat, his fighting spirit wouldn't give up. He volunteered for a secret military experiment, and with the help of the country's finest scientists, was transformed into the world's first super soldier. Now he fights alongside the Allies as a symbol of freedom and liberty for all the world. Even now, Cap is leading the charge against the dreaded Red Skull and his Hydra forces. Good luck, Captain America, wherever you are. This is the end of the line, boys. Our job is to take down Hydra Science Base, and we've already got a man on the inside to get us in. Now, let's go show the Red Skull that his day is over! Lieutenant Straka. Report. Herr Skull, the Allies have found the fortress. Captain America is with them. Send your best regiment out to confront him. He will defeat them, of course. But it will give us time to prepare the specimens. This 
will be the perfect test. That thing's standard issue. Sorry, Sarge. It's one of a kind. Jack. Jack! Trouble inside, Bucky? There are Hydra soldiers everywhere. I couldn't get into the lower levels on my own without raising the alarm, but I know the way. Not a problem. The stealth portion of this mission is officially over. I'll knock. Welcoming committee. I've got this covered. You know what, Cap? <laughs> I changed my mind. You get this one. Okay, we've seen some weird stuff in this war, but what is that? I don't know. One of Zola's experiments, maybe. Whatever it is, it's angry. Back off, ugly! Monster, here I am. Let's keep moving. Yeah, sure. No use dwelling on the big monster that almost ate us. Smart bombs. Nerve gas. Germ warfare. Okay, this is creeping me out. Hydra's been working on this stuff for years. Any one of these things could mean big trouble for the Allies. That's why we're here, Bucky. No matter what, we're taking down the Skull once and for all. Cap? I'm not so sure this is from our world. <laughs> you may come out now, Captain. I know you are here. You have arrived just in time to witness history. Ah, you always get me caught. Oh, please, Captain. Even if you were to survive, your partner would not. Still doing Zemo's dirty work, Skull? No, no. I have stopped looking for the relics of this world. 
Today, I take the power of another one. Ancient Norse mythology told of a realm of supernaturally powerful beings. And all myths have some basis in truth. This cave was the location of one gateway to that realm. The Norse called it Bifrost, the Rainbow Bridge. Picture an army of mythological beasts unleashed upon the battlefield. The Allies won't even comprehend the forces that are destroying them. Looks like your doggy there would rather gnaw on you than us, Skull. We have ways of guiding their choices. What have you done? <laughs> what have I done? I have won this war, Captain. Open the portal! Increase power! Bring it through! Who's ready to play an endgame? I am! How do you think this episode will end? Well, Captain America and Bucky need to defeat the mean, scary wolf. But maybe he's not really mean, he's just hungry. So Cap should use the portal to feed Wolfie a snack. Uh, a giant dog biscuit. That way he's too full to eat Bucky. And when Wolfie's eating the biscuit, they could pet him nicely or rub behind his ears. My dog loves it when I do that. Then Wolfie will realize Cap and Bucky are his friends, and you don't bite your friends. That's true. Biting is never the answer. Let's see how Captain America and Bucky get out of this hairy situation in this episode of The Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes. this blade on the great Captain America. You are not worthy to face me. Is it because I have more hair than you? Don't feel bad, Strucker. Maybe when you get older, it'll grow in. <sighs> <sighs> Technique. You shave your head with that thing too? <laughs> that would explain a lot. Come on, soldier. Think. Uh. 
time to go home. Get away again. There he is. Bucky, stay here. Secure the fortress. mightiest hero fell in the line of duty. Farewell, Captain America. Wherever you are. No. Not where. When. Let's keep moving. Yeah, sure. No use dwelling on the big monster that almost ate us. Forward to Time Index 3.2. This time, partner. We're not letting him get away again. Ahead, 7.25. Manual control.
crime disturbance in progress. Initiate Chrono Jump to Damocles base. Report. Temporal disturbance is reaching critical levels. The fabric of time-space is in the process of rupturing. Show me. My entire timeline. All of reality is being wiped out. And it's all because of you. My travels into the past suggest that you are the link, Captain America. Some moment in your past heralds the end of the future. Something to do with you. But I saw you meet your end in the 20th century. How can you be responsible unless... Damocles, scan all surviving records from the 21st century. Executing. Freeze image. Of course. I did not conquer the Earth just to see it wiped from existence. Damocles, prepare the fleet for time jump. <laughs> all ships begin transtemporal jump. Sir, we don't have the coordinates. There's not enough time to- Never! Tell me there's not enough time. Time coordinates accepted. Jump in progress. Where is Princess Ravana? She's boarding now, my lord. My love, what is happening? Why are we leaving? Ravana, no! Uh. Damocles, now! Update. The time dissolution has slowed. But it's still in effect. I'll save you, my love. I'll save our entire timeline. Even if I have to conquer this time to do it. Ah!